obviously a game here, and, and I imagine that you know, you're pretty much ready to rock. Yeah, we're excited. Um, a lot of our uh, drills this season, this um, season have been on like six on six drills, and we were able to get into six on six like really quickly, which has given um, a lot of our freshmen and a lot of us um, time to play together, and we're like we're really excited. What's the expectation? I mean, End of the tournament now. I mean, it's it's kind of the, the the baseline for you girls, right? I mean, I imagine your aspirations are pretty high once again. Uh, again, once again, we are, our expectations are really high. Um, we definitely have it on our goal board that we want to make the Sweet 16. So that's definitely one of our top goals. What gives you confidence that this is a Sweet 16 type team? The energy in our gym, the energy and the competitiveness in our gym. Like coaches probably said before, every spot is up for grabs. And I think that's what's making our gym so fun to be in right now is because um, everybody's fighting for position and it makes it really exciting to see what's going on on the floor. How different is that from what it was when you came in? Obviously this program's come a long way in the last years. <laughs> it has. Um, definitely made leaps and bounds since I've been here. Um, but again, even since my freshman year, everybody comes in during the um, preseason um, fighting for position. And I think um, everybody's doing that really well this year. So I think it's really exciting. Does that make the daily grind even a little more fun when you have so much time? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Especially just because in certain, in just simple drills, it starts to get really exciting and it starts to get really competitive. And I think that's what's making our program and our team right now the team that it is because everybody's working their hardest and everybody's busting their butts for every ball, which is really, really fun to see. Uh, we always like to keep our expectations high, um, especially at the beginning of the season. Preseason gets going and everyone's really excited and we're going to keep that going throughout the season. Uh, we have a lot of goals and that's definitely one of them. So, How for you, you know, when you look at coming into this program when, when you were in Lincoln to where it is right now, how different is this program since you've seen it evolve? Uh, we've always had like a really high expectation for each other and just kind of uh, the character of the girls is great, but coming in every day and seeing it progress from where it was to where it's going now is really exciting, and we're going to keep going up. <laughs> when you look at like the talent on this team uh, and what you're able to do as a group, how has the depth improved, I guess, over your you know four years here uh, versus maybe where it was when you started? Yeah, our depth is great this year. Um, and it's really fun to in integrate the freshmen in this preseason and see what we have on the floor and the talent all the way around. So uh, really establishes trust in our teammates and our coaches. And um, I can tell it's going to be a really fun season. Is there a lot, a lot more competition in daily and practice than now than four years ago? Yeah, especially on the scout side. You see people stepping up all over the place. And it makes uh, team competition and games really much, like a lot of fun. So. At this point of the year, you guys are kind of tired of playing each other and, and just ready to get out there and start playing other teams. Uh, we're actually really looking forward to Blue and White Night coming out first to get the jitters and the excitement kind of out on the floor for Blue and White Night. But we have some pretty tough like uh, weekend games coming up, but we're very excited. You know, on one hand, you always think you need more time, more time, but at some point you say, you know, let's uh, go play someone else. I don't think we're at that point yet. I think we do need a few more days before we're ready to say, let's get someone on the other side, but we'll be ready to go. It's an awesome group. I, um, I've i told them over and over how much uh, I just really look up to them as women, and uh, it's it's always fun to coach people that you really respect. You know, I the, again, the classic cliche, it doesn't matter. I mean, I, I, it's a fleeting moment that you look at that. Um, on one hand, you don't want to be in because you'd rather be the underdog, but then I, I think there is good progress to the program to be in the discussion. But it's it's where we end in, in November, December time that really, obviously, we're, we're keying toward. You want to talk about Jess, how big impact uh, will she make this year, and what kind of player is she? You know, the, the thing that makes Jess so great is, you know, she's able to do it all. She's one of our best defensive players, best passers, and obviously um, one of our best hitters. So, And she's such a great teammate. I talk so much about that, but I think our culture is something that really separates our program, and Jess uh, is definitely part of that component. Um, Jess, you know, came off of some surgery, what, late this, this summer or, or 
late spring and is really doing well, jumping well. So, you know, we're excited for her to have a great year. But I think the thing with Jess is she's not a one-man show. I mean, we've got um, pieces around her um, that I think are looking very good. You know, this is you've had three NCAA tournaments in a row. Uh, talk about this senior class. I mean, they, they've kind of been through it all now and kind of, led the way. Talk you know, about that. when we recruited that class, one thing that just kind of happened when we realized when they got here, they were all winners. I mean, Melanie Jarib's team was a national champion. Kate, Kate Elman and uh, Ashley Jansen's team won a bunch of state tournaments. They were all winners when they came in. And that really gave us a new look at our recruiting. You know, not only do you want great players, but you want players that have learned how to win. Very similar to our freshman class this year. All of them are winners. They've, their yeah. teams have won. So what this group has done, along with a lot of people around them, is really spectacular and I think um, has really catapulted our program, you know, another step from where we were four years ago. Talk about your recruiting class and you've got a player that was ranked 18th in the country. Uh, you know, are we going to see some freshmen in this lineup make an impact or what? You know, um, the front, Taryn Cloth actually uh, broke her ankle three weeks ago, so she's she. We have not seen her play yet, um, but the other freshmen are doing a fantastic job, and I, I think you'll see some freshmen play in this fall. When you look at like this roster, the last couple two three years, you know, you have a lot of girls, maybe 10, 11. There's never one girl with 25 kills, and every, you know, it's pretty spread out. Is that kind of the approach and, and what you expect out of this season as well? Absolutely. I think if you have a one-player team, you might be good for three or four years, but that's not going to sustain a program. And obviously, uh, I've kind of put my roots here at Creighton and in Omaha, and you know, we want the program to continue to get better. Um, so I think to do that, you have to have depth in every position. When you started here, did you foresee the kind of evolution that you've made over the last 13 years? No, you know, and I think the program has evolved, but our facilities and so many factors have made that happen. Um, you know, when I got here, they were playing at Omaha South. Right, you know, we made right. the big jump to the Civic Auditorium, um, which was huge at the time. It was a home court facility. Um, but the the building of the Ryan Athletic Center changed things a lot. You know, now we have the Championship Center. All of those things, our marketing staff, you know, we used to have a couple people maybe thinking about volleyball, and now there's, you know, staff, like there's lots of people that are doing what they can to make us the best that we can be. And, and I, you know, the goal is that we obviously haven't peaked, that we can, 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 can continue to grow from a fan base standpoint and obviously a win standpoint. Uh, Tuck, you've been trying to get Nebraska on the schedule, you know, in the past. Uh, what is it? We played them last year, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But, but you've got them here in Omaha. Yeah, in Omaha. Yeah. Uh, what does that mean to play them here? You know, I, the great thing about playing Nebraska is we've got a team with a lot of Nebraska kids. They have a lot of Nebraska young women on their team. And I, I love the idea of showcasing how great volleyball is in the state. So that to me, to me when we play Nebraska, it is a celebration. You know, it's a celebration of being a small state that has unbelievable talent and uh, really showcases that in that atmosphere. And I hope, you know, I hope a lot of people come out and see, uh, you know, what great talent is in this state. You said you're probably not at the point where you're quite ready to face somebody different. But I guess when you go out next week and start actually playing games, are, is there one or two concerns you have that you want to see kind of get answered right away? You know, I, in all honesty, we still have some positions up for grabs. So, uh, you know, hopefully some of those answers will be made in the next week. Um, but if not, you know, sometimes those things, you know, Marissa Wilkinson's a great example last year. She was not in the starting lineup the first weekend, okay. um, or at least the first match of the first weekend. Um, Jess's knee ran into problems. She kind of subbed in. We thought it would be a Band-Aid situation. She tore it up, and she ended up starting for us all season long. So those stories are always fun. I think players, you know, with so many unknowns, I think you're going to see some different players play. And, you know, it'll be the ones that step up that maybe get some additional time. Is it nice to be in a position where you have that depth of competition now, where maybe when you, you start with this program, you're not as comfortable with that? Yeah, I think um, it is a really a big sign of progress is that, you know, if we had an injury or, you know, if someone's having an off night or if we want to rest some people, three games in one weekend is really physically taxing. Mm -hmm. So all of those things are great things. It makes... Um, my job a lot harder you know uh, uh, it really has been trying because you know you 
you want to put the best squad out, but you feel for these young women. I mean, these guys, I have 16 women that are busting their tail every single moment, and I would love to play all 16. You know, that's, that's the fun part. But I think the thing that's really special about this team, and they've talked about a lot, and we've, you know, it's been a big focus, is it's not about me, it's about we, and, you know, and that selflessness of I'm going to support whoever's on the court, and when I get my opportunity, they're going to support me. Seems like your schedule seems to be getting a little bit tougher each year. I mean, are you purposely scheduling up quite a bit, or is it just, I mean, does this seem like your, your biggest non-conference schedule that you've had? You know, I'd, I'd defer to Rob a little bit on that. I, I don't know if it is our toughest. I think uh, my philosophy, scheduling philosophy is put us in an RPI situation to get an at-large bid if we don't win our conference tournament. And obviously we have to win some matches, but we have to play teams to have that opportunity. So I'm always looking for teams that are top in their conference, um, especially RPIs between the 15 to 40 range. You know, those are I, uh, teams that I, I personally think are perfect teams to play. So it's, it, it is very calculated and I think it's been successful. And, you know, but we're gonna have to win matches to make the tournament no matter what the schedule is set up to be.